who are you? Right, Shane Burns. I'm a singer-songwriter from Limerick. I picked up the guitar in prison uh, six years ago. It's a dream at this stage, I suppose. You get up there every morning, you get out there, and you just have to you have to get thick-skinned about things and not care what people think about you, good or bad, you know. And um, I just keep negativity out of my line of sight, keep my eyes on the prize. I think Shane Bourne did his crime, did his time, and he's trying to make a name for himself, and I wish him the best of luck. And he could get the shit kicked out of him, left, right and centre, and... I wouldn't disagree with people who want to kick the shit out of him, to be honest with you. If you grab my sister's tits, I'd probably kick the shit out of him myself. But I think he's not a bad singer. He's a good-looking cunt. <laughs> and he's from Limerick. He was in the round jacks, drunk. And he grabbed the round woman's tits. Uh, we've all been in situations where we'd regret. I feel that a lot of people jump on the jump on the bandwagon as well. Things get blown out of all proportion and taken out of all context, you know what I mean? They said that I was a paedophile and that I was a rapist, and that's not true. Okay. It's just not true. If I was, I wouldn't be standing here in the street chasing a career in music. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I've got lots of friends and lots of family, lots of support, lots of people that know me. They know that I've had my struggles, and that I did a silly thing when I was drinking. Mm -hmm. um, in, in doing what I did, I touched a woman's boob and I got locked up for it, as I've always said. It is what it is and it shouldn't have happened and it was the second time that something like that had happened as well, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, I suppose when I went into prison I had to take a good honest look at myself and what put me in there, like, you know, and I mean, drink was a big part of it. Like. Walked up to her, straight into her face and grabbed her by the chest. That's what you call a dirty, sick, perverted little cunt and he did that twice. He's a repeat offender. They've changed. See, and I'm working on myself to be the best version of myself that I can be. I don't have any skeletons in the closet. Like my truth, and my truth is out there. I'm open and honest. I can look people in the eye. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I can, I can talk openly and honestly. Now, come here. Am I sorry for what happened? If there was one thing that I would go back and change in my life, it would be that. Believe you me. Mm -hmm. For the people that was involved, that were, you know, that have suffered over it. Obviously, for me now, for what I'm, so, you know, it's lose lose situation. It's nothing but misery. You know, I'm getting, I'm getting hassle over it constantly. And you know, part of me didn't kind of feel I do deserve it sometimes. I have a very low opinion of myself, you know. I had no choice but to change for the good. What would you say to a struggling alcoholic? Say, admit defeat. It's the first thing, but they have to want to stop, you know, because it's a mugs game. Alcoholism will just kill you, like, you know what I mean? And then, like, take my story as, as an example. You know, if I think my story will help one person, you know, you don't have to go down the roads I went down. An awful lot of shame and an awful lot of guilt, and I'm living with it eight years after, like, it doesn't go away. We can all talk, like, we can, we can all look into somebody else's past, you know, and, 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 and see what they've done in their past. Do you know what I mean? Very easy for thousands of people to gang up on one person. Like, do you look up to anybody like uh, Kanye West or anybody like that getting a lot of hate online? To be honest, I, I wasn't I'm a bit ignorant of oh, Kanye West. I didn't realize he gets hate. Like, but it's something I could look into because not that I'd compare myself to him, but see how he deals with it. Do you know? Because um, yeah, I, thought I, I heard something about it. Uh, did he say he was Jesus or something at one stage? Is that Kanye oh, West? That was years ago. But yeah, now yeah. He, he started saying that he's a Jew and a Nazi and all that at the same time. Like Jesus, and he's getting hate for it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like the way I look, the way I look at it, like if they're not hating on you for your past or if they're not hating on you for what you're saying in the media, like there's probably going to be a lot of people that'll hate me on this. Do you know what I mean? That's fine. The reality of the matter is, not everybody's going to like you. Do you know what I mean? And you'll always get, you'll always get somebody. Who'll, who'll say something about you, whether they don't like what you're wearing, or whether they don't like how you sing, or whether they, if it's not this, it's that. And if you do have a past and you own up to it, well, then they add stuff on. Do their best to take you How come you picked Pennies today as a spot to perform on? I really don't know, man. Do you usually perform here? Yeah, I do, like, but I, I haven't been I haven't been here in a while. Would you shop in Pennies at all? No. <laughs> well, what are you wearing? <laughs> the only thing I get in Pennies, man, is my socks and my Your vests, socks. maybe, yeah. Do you know? What are you wearing right now? That's it. I'm literally just wearing a fucking Adidas tracksuit, man. And this jacket that I got off a fella, a thermal jacket, it's pure Bear Grylls thing, keeps me warm. I love it.